Skeleton Pirate 3 is going to close on Penny uh, oh, and take whack at her. So let's see. Well, that's why I had the sun blade out. Okay, so that was for... Um, that was for Dogfight Sunblade, and you have a Sunblade out. Okay, well, well it's gonna it's gonna act stupid because of where its placement is. All right, so a Sunblade. Does that give you any defensive value? No. You would figure it would. I thought the. Never mind. I I thought wrong. So. It does do damage to uh, supernatural creatures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, don't forget, this guy is already wounded. Um, mm -hmm. And, let's see, he is three. So, this is what? Roll melee? Um, I am rolling against you to hit you. So, it's uh, no modifier. Come on. Uh, it would almost be better just to have the character sheets open up. Did somebody just join us? Hey! Yeah, I made it. You made it! Um, I, I have yeah. bad news for you. I'm dead already? <laughs> no, you're not dead, but you're, uh, there are issues. <laughs> uh, you're currently Leave you guys along with my character for ten minutes. And oh come on! It's been two hours. Person. You gave him to for you know him for two hours. <laughs> I tried my best. The dice just screwed me. It's you been screwing it. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> How many worms have I rolled this turn? Oh my god! Yeah. You have uh, two right now. If it weren't for possibilities. Yeah. Oh, 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 so now you're telling me I have no possibilities no, left. Thanks, have, I appreciate you it. You have Good to know. five. You have five. <laughs> <laughs> but you are currently drowning. Yeah, it's okay. You're, probably, you're on your way back to the surface. Yeah, you're probably going to need those. And some first aid. Yeah, Thuban's noted for his first aid skill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't Thuban be the person who like lets people die so that he can raise them as a zombie? Yep. Actually, yeah. since you yeah, mention it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, there's a great white shirt up there, so. Oh, okay, I, I can't get Skeleton Pirate 3 to roll. There we go. A result of 11. Now, <sighs> Peaches, what mm -hmm. is your... Um, Let's see, you've got your sun blade, so what is your melee defense? Melee defense? Did yes. you just mean my, my defense? Nope. You, you, are you using the sword to block with? Yes. Okay, then it's your melee defense. My melee weapons is nine? No, your melee defense, look over on the right. Uh, you've got status at the <laughs> far right, and then oh, defense yeah. is to the left of that. Oh, uh, defense for melee is nine. Nine. So, same. Okay. okay, so he hits you. You're going to take two shock. Boo -hoo. Uh, yeah, I know. So actually, let me let me just go ahead and roll him. Let it. Let me roll his damage just to make absolutely certain. Peaches. No bonus dice. Robert, I five. actually do sincerely apologize for. <laughs> I tried to do my best with dogfight, but the dice weren't having it. Yeah, I, I understand, and I am perfectly okay with it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> there we go. Now, give me damage. Okay. So, two shock, like I said. Okay. Well, now, now I'm going to whack at this sucker. Well, hang on. I'm not done. I've still got my villains going on down here. Mm. So, let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's all the other villains. And then one, and, two, and... three, four, five, six. Actually, he's going to go up here, and I'm going to have to move my card. Okay, um, Robert, at the end of this combat round, we'll explain what's what's happened completely. And, and hey, don't worry about do. it. Really? Yeah. Okay. What? 
Okay, so let's see. At the end of their action, since they can't get to you, let me remove those. And come on now. Come on. Yeah, things are going uh, slow as nominal. So, four, five, get them up. Two. Okay, there's that one. And then there's this one. One, two. Okay, and I can close those two. Uh, they have already moved, so that... Let's see. All right, so I need to change something. Uh, actually, it's your guy's turn. Uh, so who amongst you three remaining would like to go? Oh, I'm so on. I, I, I've been wanting to hit this thing forever. Just okay. let me hit something. Okay, so Peaches, go ahead. <laughs> That's melee? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, with n the Nile Sunblade, that's melee. Uh, don't forget, it's strength plus five for damage. Okay, just roll a, uh, my melee weapon. Yep. Okay, that is a two hit of nine. Let me pop him open real quick. If there's a real quick to be had. And his, let's see, his melee is a 13, so you did not hit unless you want to throw something at it. Oh, hey, did you guys? Have... No, this is only round two, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to. Okay. I right. want to add a possibility to this. I am going to smite this thing. Okay. I will smite thee with my mighty blade. Okay, so 17 versus 13, that's four. I'm going to give you plus one die. Um, so roll with plus one bonus die. And uh, don't forget, the damage is plus five, not plus one. Right, okay. Where is Sunblade damage? Uh, Jin, I kind of mm -hmm. just noticed the when you spent that possibility... Uh, you actually had rolled a one, so and rounded up to ten. Of course. <laughs> yep. Of course I did. All right. Uh, so that, but that's fine. We're good. How with do that. I roll damage on this thing? Okay. Uh, so look for your Nile Sunblade in your weapons and powers box, and then mm -hmm. um, uh, your damage column, which is the third from the right. Underneath that, it should say either strength plus one or strength plus five. If it's strength plus five, go ahead and roll it as is. If it's strength plus one, uh, change it to a five. Okay, it's to a five. And don't forget, you'll have to select the target. And how do I roll damage? It's not letting me. Huh? You click on the like damage it. line for that weapon. I, I, I am, but it's not I mean, pick a target okay. or anything. What's okay. wrong? Okay, okay, stop. Hit the box at the far right of the Nile Sunblade. That will open up all of its stats and stuff. You'll have to change the damage in there. Okay. And the damage should say strength plus, and then you'll need to change the little number to a five. Let me open you up, and, and I can help you with this. What uh, is freaking wrong? Okay, so Penny Gonzalez. Uh, okay, character sheet. Got that. Okay, let me kind of open this up a little bit. Would you give me my arrows before I get pissed off? Okay, so let's see. Where is your... You don't have a Nile Sunblade listed in here. Oh, there it is, all the way at the bottom. Okay, if you click on the box at the far right, you've already got it listed as strength plus five. Okay, now, if you go up, 
if you close most of your boxes to begin with, let's see, let me do that for you. You click on Weapons and Powers title, and that will close everything for you. It collapses. It's supposed to collapse it all anyway. Hit it again, and collapse. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now, are you seeing that Strength plus 5 down at the very bottom? Yes. Okay. Click that line. Uh, or that that particular part of the line right under damage. Oh, finally, I can pick a target. There we go. Yeah. Once you pick the target, I one. What's that again? I have one bonus dice. Yeah. Okay, one bonus dice. There you go. So. One yeah. wound, two shock. One wound, two shock. Okay. Um, that pirate falls apart where it's at. Okay. So let me, um, let's see. I need to go here and I need to go there. Okay. Now that pirate, uh, falls apart. It's bones just go straight to the ground. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. I'm like, Got him. Come on, Mo. Get over here. So, okay. So who needs to go next? Who needs to go in this round yet? I think Peaches went first, right? I need to. Okay. Yeah, Peaches went first. Okay. So who I, wants to go first between I need Chris to go. and Mo? Okay, Chris. Uh, I have a question. Can I take one of the spears that's meant for my spear gun and use my telekinesis on it to hit Pirate 4 over here? Uh, so you're talking just taking a spear out of your out of your satchel, and instead of reloading it into the spear gun, just use telekinesis to send it over. Yep. Holy crap! I hadn't thought of that. I don't see why not. Those spears are not they're not truly light, but they're not real heavy either. So go ahead and use your telekinesis. Which one are you going after? Four or five? Uh. Four. Okay. You probably don't even see five anymore. Yeah, I don't see him right now. Okay. Uh, no modifier, correct? Um, you're at range. Um, so you have, let's see, you're going to have a total of minus six because of the uh, range underwater and uh, uh, the you've got the dim property going on, so that's minus four. Uh, or dark property, I mean, that's minus four. And then the silt that was kicked up, minus two. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Not bad. Uh, that's against uh, pirate four. Okay. Let me get him open. And everything. I hate the way the windows come open here. Okay. Now, uh, he, he, that is definite. Ooh. Let's see. He is. Okay, that's versus a dodge because uh, you're shooting at range. So you hit him, do basic damage. Should I just roll with the spear gun's damage? Yes. Okay, one wound, two shock. So, how am I not surprised here? One wound, one... And this way, I don't oh. lose the spear. That's right, I forgot. They, these guys don't suffer shock. Well, that's not necessarily true. Um, because it is a skeleton, it's got all kinds of holes in between its ribs, and stuff like that. So, you know, we'll have to see about that. Um, but it does not fall down yet. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't want to close that, actually. So. All right. And then Mo. Okay. All right. Mo. Why won't it let me select myself? Um, uh, are you on the arrow, on the select move arrow? 
Oh, I am. Thank you. I was on the wrong thing. All right, boom. All I, right. I have done that so many times these last few game sessions that I finally think I learned. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Did that? Did that active defense? Was that my action this round? Um. I did take an active defense. Yes, I believe it was. Hang on. Yeah, and, and I defense. succeeded, which means they get a card. Please. Exchange this turn's action for a roll bonus, minimum plus one to apply all defenses until the character's next turn. So yeah, uh, that was the only one. So let me get out the cards. Destiny deck. And I am not shuffling it this time. Deal one. Uh, okay, there we go. Cap, Gonzalez. And deal. Okay, so that's that's a card there. And I th think that's it for you guys, isn't it? Well, Thuban is busy fighting a shark. Well, um, yes. What we're gonna? Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, the shark is not trying to get at you, so it can't attack you. So go ahead and see what you can do to kill it. And I'm gonna open up a shark. Uh, let's see. Did I do what I think I did? I probably did. Okay. As much wisdom as Thuban has gained from being converted into Alish reality, he still grew up in Tarka Care, so he still sees this thing as food and or tools. Yeah. There's just no getting rid of that nature sometimes. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. What do I do here? So I would like, if possible, to... Oh, that's... I'm getting echo from someone. Yeah, someone's got an echo going on. I think it's Ginger. I see her mic lighting up. Well, Ooh. yeah, it, it might be, but uh, uh, Robert, could you check your stuff too, please? It could be Robert as well. What's that? Um, we're getting a lot of reverb. Yeah. yeah okay. it's oh, uh, that helps. My mistake night. for uh, thinking of you at first. I would like to try and fry the shark alive through Hellfire via a superheated jet of steam. Okay, now keep in mind, in order to get a zombie, it has to be mostly intact. All right, I would just like to try and hit the head then. So I guess that's a called shot. Uh, are you sure you want to hit the head since that's where its biggest weapon is? Let's make it uh, the... I can't think... Of, I, I can't really... Can I use a spear gun? Um. Yeah, I don't see why you couldn't use a spear gun. You've got all those tendrils underneath. <coughs> well, I have no ads in that thing, so I really do think burning this thing to death would be the best option. Well, ha hang on. Let me let me kind of look over Thuban real quick and see if there's another option that we could do. Because uh, they're, it, you know, stabbing it through with a sword, you know, you might be able to do that. Uh, let's see. Okay, you've got the storm breaking shield. That doesn't really help right now. Come on, roll down. Uh, let's see. Sudden burial's not going to help. Uh, let's see. Speak with dead. Curse banish. What is up? Uh, why didn't this open all the way? Okay, I'm going to. Okay, I'll try dragging it the other way then. There we go. So that I can open it up. Just a little bit. All right. So banish. What does banish do? Oh, that's for that's ghosts and stuff, huh? Ghost. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you could uh, you could try with uh, with your sword. You've got a short sword there for for other uh, bad guys. All right. I guess I'll just grab my my sword sword and my tentacles and try and stab it to death as cleanly as possible. Which isn't much since I have no ads and melee weapons. Okay, I, I've got to break you for just a second. When a monster comes along, come on, guys, you know this. You I must stab it. You <laughs> must whip it. <laughs> okay. Because I guess Hellfire is not a good idea. So I'll Hellfire, I think, would be a terrible idea. Uh, it's got a damage okay. of 13. Uh, let's see. 13 plus 1 BD on a good success. See, you may not... Uh, 
<sighs> what is the description on Hellfire? What does it do? A gout of flame emerges from hands, or in this case, tentacles. You know, you might be able to get away with it, because the I'll, shark is right. in the water. I'll give Hellfire a shot. Okay, give Hellfire a shot. Oh, and let me close this. Come on. And let me change over to this. Let me close this. Okay, so Thuban does a result of 12. Okay. Uh, good lands. Okay, so... And that's, that's uh, let's see, it's Dodger Dex, right? Yep. Why didn't I do that? You did say it's tangled up. It is tangled up. Um, and the only way that it can really, but it is thrashing about, too. The only thing it can use is a dodge. That's an eight. Um, but it's also going to be stymied. So that's going to get you an extra bonus die. I'll so roll damage. Uh, okay, let me close my shark. And I had <laughs> Thuban open. You know, that just sounds weird. Let me close my shark. <laughs> it's yeah, like you, you ain't kidding. Is, the, is it a shark door? Uh, Hang on, I gotta oil the hinges on this shark. Yeah. Uh, door. Oh. the door. Okay, so that's gonna be 13 plus one bonus die. So, uh, you've got the 13... On the Hellfire line, okay, under damage. Yep. Click that, and when it asks, uh, it's going to ask you for a target. Shit. Should I just roll a d6? Yeah, roll a d6. Just a okay. regular good old-fashioned yeah, d6. It's going to ask for a target, shit. Yeah, I'm just having just the most right. wonderful, That's just freaking time. So that's 16 damage. Okay, that's 16 damage. Let me open my shark. <laughs> uh, versus toughness. That it it only gets it two shock. Really? Yep. That's it. The problem is let's see, dread, fear, large swim. No, they are not immune to shock. So one, two. I can't spend a possibility posthumously, right? Um, I don't think so. On on like uh, extra bonus dice. Hang on. Yeah. I don't think you. Can. No, you have to. You have to decide before he announces the result. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, you would have. Yeah, you'd have to do that beforehand. Um. Okay, so that's GWS one. He okay. take he took. Um, is it, he is it, took a second point of how, shock. How bad off is? How bad off is is dog fight? Um. Oh shit! You dog don't know. fight. Okay. Hold I on. Mean... Hold on. Hold on. Dog fight. Uh, wound up in bad enough condition. He's got one wound that he has taken. Um, and he has two leaks in his suit. Um. Here's what I'm going to do so that we can get you back in the fight as quick as possible. Uh, you uh, had to use your rocket boots to get back up to the top. You come up and land on top of the of the seaplane, and then you and then I grab the next uh, the, I grab the next uh, deep diving suit and throw it on. <laughs> yes, and then and then you can dive back down. Now here's here's what I'm going to do, and it's it's not great. Uh, it's not very, it, it's st very good story wise, but it's good for you guys as characters. It's going to take you six rounds to do that. Okay. You also I, see no fighting a shark. No problem. Yeah. So it, it'll take you uh, six rounds and that's from the seafloor to changing to all the way back down, which is absolutely unrealistic. Uh, it was going to take 30 minutes for you to get back down alone. But I'm not going to have I you. I would imagine, that. yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. But yes, you do see Thuban fighting a shark. You won't be able to assist him if you want to assist him until next round, and then your countdown starts. Okay. Uh, if you want to get back oh. into the fight down here, your countdown will start this coming round. Okay. It is a dramatic scene. 
So uh, let me get rid of that. Um, Duban, have you been playing uh, cards into my pool? Because I didn't have any in there. Uh, I think he had I the usual. Using, yeah, I was using my own pool because I was controlling him. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll... Let's see. Dogfight has four and one. Um, so I, I, you know, you already, did you already use your, um, uh, no, I don't think he had a Cosm card. Okay. No, I used my Cosm card actually. Okay. I okay. did. Um, that was the, I was going to mention that cause I wasn't sure if this was, um, this was the same act cause you said that, um, um, Penny right. had got a 10 when she rolled a one, on her possibilities, and that was what my Cosmic card negated. Okay, you take the roll as is. Okay, rock on. Um, if if you if if whoever is echoing has a pair of headphones, and I think uh, it's Robert. Uh, it is me. Let me see yeah, if I yeah. Can do I think it's it. Hold on. It happens. It happens. Yeah, I'm having to wear headphones because I was echoing really badly on our videos. Uh, let's see. The new card is when suddenly. And since it's still a dramatic round, uh, dramatic scene, the villains go first, and the heroes have a setback. Oh. Of course. Um, so, the villains will get to go first. Okay, your skeletal pirate, uh, Mo, is going to come after you. Let me open him up. The sheets have started opening up a little bit faster, so maybe... maybe uh, I've got got stuff loaded where it's supposed to be. Mo, are you on with us? Yes, I am. I okay. Was just waiting for you to go. Okay. So he's got. Okay. Remember? Uh, no, that was last round. Mm -hmm. Any? Okay. So the self modifier of minus two is gone. Uh, for this whole round. Remind me of it if I get out of hand. Come on now. Okay. There it goes. There's the submission. Okay, Skeleton Pirate 2 has a result of 11. Uh, what yeah. is your defense? Nine. Okay. Uh, now, wait a minute. Uh, are you, Okay, you're unarmed, right? Yeah. So that's a nine. Wait, so what about your uh, ward enemy? Yeah, that's, uh, that's what's got it up to nine. Oh, okay. Uh. <clears throat> All right, so he's going to hit you, but it's not going to be very much because he doesn't have a bonus die. So strength plus three. Come on. That's a good boy. You can do it. Am I still echoing? No. No. No, you are not. No. That's good. Okay. Thank you. Oh, see, it's having me choose my target. It didn't put the target thing on top, though. Zero bonus dice. I was supposed to change something on the light last time. Hang on. The light is glowing a lot brighter. So... Let me go into advanced and shut the auras off. Come on. Uh, let's see. Dynamic lighting. Emits bright light. Can I turn that off? Okay, I don't have to turn that off. So, come on. Turn white. You can do it. This might take a minute. Uh, okay, it's not going to turn for me. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, let's see. There's a skeletal pirate at your feet, Peaches. Um, but this one moves up to attack you, so that's five. Uh-oh. Yep, and it's going to be a cutlass to the gut. Uh, actually, do you even see him? Nope. <laughs> um, that's my setback. That's what? That's my setback. Uh, yeah, that's that because he's going to get a bonus for blindsiding. Uh, let's see, where's the blindside at? Oh, well, that's okay. Let me see what you do. See, oh, you're looking that way. Yeah, you see Chris and the other skeletal pirate. So you're actually standing sidelong. Uh, roll a find test with a target number of 12. How many cards should we have in our pool? Uh, should be three unless you've spent some. Should be two. We, we, we're starting round three. Oh, we're starting round three. Oh, okay. So two unless you've spent some. Wow, feels like it. It's gone longer than that. 
And this is only a few combatants. Probably has. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, I need to roll a find, you said? Yeah, roll a find uh, versus a 12. No modifier? No modifier. The modifier I already considered in. So 16. Okay, you see and are able to react to Skeletal Pirate 5, which means he is not going to... Uh, uh, he cannot blind side, side you. I wanted to make sure I was fair with that. Now I get to open him up and attack you. But I don't get any bonus. So, open up. Come on. Okay, Cutlass. Cutlass is coming at oh, you. Right there. Zero modifier, because he's right there. And yeah, you can turn your, your token so that the light shines in the right direction. So this one is a countdown D20. This one is my rolling D20. Uh, let's see. He's got an uh, on, uh, melee weapons of 11. That's a 19. Let me get open the, uh, the bonus chart. Okay. So his... Uh, okay, that gets him a bonus of plus six. Um, so that's going to be a total of... Okay, move out of the way, you. Uh, let's see, that's 17 to hit. What is your... Um, what is your melee defense? Because you've got the Sunblade. Uh, my melee defense under defense is nine. Nine? I rolled, um, let's see, I, I total of, what was it, 18, I, I think? Uh, yeah. So, uh, that means he's going to get two bonus dice on you. So, let's see. The base damage is 12, plus 3, plus 3. So, 12, 15, 18, versus your toughness of... Tough is, toughness is 12. 12. Um, okay, so that's only 5. You uh, you can take 1 wound and 2 shock unless you want to soak it. I will definitely soak it. Okay, so spend a possibility and roll reality. You can double click that box and it'll open the sheet again. Yeah. What was that? Spend oh no, problem. the skeletons received an email. <laughs> or text. <laughs> All right, so. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Hold on here. So, Penny, were you, or Peaches, were you able to, well, Penny, Peaches, Gonzalez, were you able to find the reality? There it is. Okay, All now, right. listen. Are there any if things are running slowly for you guys, okay? Get out a D20, get out a D6. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Okay. All right. Are there any uh, penalties or anything? Uh, uh, do you have any wounds? I don't have any other wounds. Okay, so the result is 10. Okay, so that will that will soak. Since you spent a possibility, that's one wound, two shock. Or one wound and all shock. Um, um, that's, that means I'm completely unwounded. Okay, no, so... Okay. And do what? With I whose said chicken? No, no wounds. I'm good. Okay. Token emits light. Three, six. Right. She'd walk it off, but she's in the water. She'll swim it off. <laughs> swim <All> it off. <laughs> Aren't we still screwed by the world law here? Um. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Um. Remember when dogfight took. The two wounds and the the four shock, um, uh, the the law that I have uh, for soaking allows you a minimum. Since you're spinning a possibility and it's that powerful, you get a minimum of one wound off and all shock. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with that. Screw the world law. But um, any others. So say that you had saved against two wounds, okay, 
you would only get the one wound and two shock. Understand what I mean? Okay. All right. I got you. See? Uh, I thought you'd said it as the first wound you can't get rid of, but any subsequent ones you can. Right. Right. Well, with the change in in house rules that I've done for the soaking, it kind of of makes things weird. So you you can save from one wound, even if it's like you could consider it as you keep the first wound, but you, you get rid of the second wound. You know, it's it's something that simple. It's it's not very hard to, to deal with. So we'll go that way. And dynamic lighting. And I am, oh, wait, wait, wait. Eight and four. I can't get this to do what I want it to do. I think I have to go. No, nope, I just have to go backspace on those. Okay, so whose turn is it? Uh, I believe it's still mine, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, that villain got me. What else? Okay, I have to go against Chris. So I ha- I'll have to move that guy. I-, I think I've got too many light sources going on. I've got. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to remove the light sources altogether, and I'm going to make it daylight. Can all of you see light now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can yes. see everything yep. on the map? Yep. Yes. Okay. Then in that case, uh, this this is how we're going to, to do things. Where was I at? I need to move my pirate over to Chris. Okay. And he's going to run you through. That's uh, Skeleton Pirate 4. See if this thing opens in a decent amount of time. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Okay. There we go. Something just cleared. We're going to do this again. Oh, okay. So that's a plus one. Uh, so it's got uh, unarmed combat, or I'm sorry, melee weapons of 11. So that's a 12. Chris, what is your uh, melee defense? Uh, it is 12. It is 12. Okay. Then defender wins on that one so you do not get hit but it's a close one it's like the sword slides along your left arm but it doesn't actually puncture anything okay uh so let's see close thank you heroes have a setback uh let's see setback the gm devises an unfortunate happenstance for the affected side c core 112 um let's see Every time you guys get some kind of a setback, you've already had a rough night. Um, I don't in like in terms of the dice, or in terms of the platform screwing us with long load times. Yes, all the way around. So let's see, setback. No, that's not going to work. Uh... Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Okay. I'm going to do something else. Um, let's see. I want you to open your character sheets. The guys who are on the... Uh, actually, yeah, it would be pretty much all of you. Um, one level of stymied, one level of vulnerable. And the story of what happened... Let's see. We can kind of make that up. Um Okay, I've got it. Um, for the three of you that are on the seafloor, uh, you feel a huge tremor go through the entire mesa that you're sitting on, and it knocks you to your knees, all three of you. So that's uh, minus two vulnerable, minus two stymie. For the next round. As for um, um, dogfight, you are flying. Th- you are flying through the air, and water finally gets up to, or not flying through the air, flying through the water, as it were. You're propelling through the water, and uh, you're you finally t- intake some seawater as you're breathing. It rushes up on you really quickly. And you end uh-huh. up breathing some of it in. 
Uh, and mm-hmm. that get makes you minus two uh, uh, stymie, minus two vulnerable. Uh, Thuban. Okay. Yeah? You get a little bit too close to that cupola window um, that you're trying to fight the shark with, or through, and uh, the shark yanks the aircraft in such a manner that it actually uh, not only pushes you outside of the aircraft, but your bottom two tendrils end up going into the water. Uh, you you get a little bit oh. bit of water, and you are off balance. So minus two stymie, minus two vulnerable. How's that for a Got setback? It. Sure. Okay. I just kind of realized Rumbling. something. Huh. This is ocean water, salt water. Mm-hmm. Dogfight has an open wound. Mm-hmm. Yes. But that yeah. wound is underwater already. So Yeah. Uh, the, so the, I was thinking, how much pain is he in right now? Well, he's in a lot of pain, but um, not enough to cause Which a hero. Which is why I swallowed. <sighs> Not enough to cause the well, possibility I, I, I wars to become too bad off. Besides, um, that's the, right. The compartment flooded uh, uh, after he was stabbed, and it was probably something that um, the the pain washed over him, but it kind of went away right away. It's not something that's constant or consistent. Okay. Okay. So I, uh, I've experienced a wound in seawater myself and yeah, it sticks around for a, a few seconds, but if you stay in the seawater, you find out you get used to it. So, okay. All right. So let's take care of you folks underwater first. Uh, who wants to go first between Mo peaches and Chris? We're going to finish this round and we're going to end it for tonight. Okay. Um, Chris or or Mo or or me, huh? Yes, whoever wants to go first. Uh, if you guys have a plan that you want to talk through, you've still got communications. Oh, he just disappeared, so I think he, his well, inter- he, my internet might have gone down. Maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, he's still on Discord, but Discord has ghosts all the time, so we'll we'll wait a moment and find out. Uh, but Discord wh- haunted as hell. Huh? Discord is haunted as hell. All the ghosts everywhere. Yeah. Okay. So again, those those of you who are on the seabed, what do you want to do? All right. I'm going to say, Mo, stop playing around. Get rid of that, that thing and join us. And uh... just blow <laughs> it up. Is, yeah. I'm sitting here trying to beat a skeleton's head into the mast. Just yeah, and blow I, it and up. I, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, and I'm going to stab at mine, uh, pirate number six. Okay. All right. So peaches, go ahead. All right. Now wait a minute. Are you I sure it's that. number six? Uh, no. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> number five. Is that Robert back with us? Hey. Hello. Hey. Hi. Yeah. There he is. What happened? Okay, that's just not going to cut it. <laughs> I don't think. Hello, can anybody hear me? Check one. Check. Yeah, I can, we can hear you. Uh, hold on. Um, okay, good. I am going to spend a possibility for this. Okay. Okay, you're going to spend a possibility. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It. Don't forget, did you, did you click on your character... Okay. That, yes. No, you had not. Uh, actually, yeah, it still had your last roll. Okay. So that gives you a result of nine, uh, which against five is what? Oh, here we go. Uh, nope, you miss. Because yeah, it's... I, I did, had all my stymied and stuff down in there. Yeah. Okay. So I can trade you a drama card if you want to. Uh, play that. Yeah. If you've got yeah. something in your pool. Um. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll trade you either a reconnect or a backup plan. Here. Mm, yeah, I'll take I'll take a backup plan. All right. 
There, I'll throw the drama out on the board. There you go. Um, let's see, what is it? Drama play is a possibility. Mm -hmm. So how do I... Uh, Just yeah. hit possibility. Take oh, make sure that your character is selected. Your token is selected. And then, as usual, and then hit possibility again. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's it's a good deal of help. Uh, go ahead and take that backup plan, um, uh, Andrew. All right. I'm hitting accept trade, but it says it's coming from a dogfight. Uh, just click it and you know, yeah. take card. Click the card itself and, and click take card. I, I know that you're trying to uh, do a trade by dragging a card down onto it. I find that's a pain in the butt more than anything. Uh, actually, I was, I was... Okay, there it is. Okay, Peaches, was, go ahead and roll damage. Supernatural plus five. Sorry, Andrew. I uh, saying, actually, I was getting this screen up that says, you know, accept trade, mm -hmm. and I was clicking, okay, accept trade. Uh, except yeah, that, that was... Yeah, uh, uh, you can you can do that. Yeah, that you was guys... uh, that was happening because I was trying to move my cards around. I don't know why. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. That's odd. All right. So yeah, that's no. so uh, peaches. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. There you go. Oh, a whole two shock. What? Oh my! And it doesn't take shock. But this does strength plus five, right? Does supernatural yeah. damage. Right. And uh, with the strength plus five against supernatural creatures, you still rolled an effect of four, which means two shock. Oh. Okay. So, uh oh, this round might not be good for you guys. Um, okay, Chris, it's your turn. Or wait a minute. Hold on. Between Chris and Mo, who wants to go next? Uh, I'll go ahead and go. Uh, uh... I'm going to drop the concentration on my spell. Okay. So that it, uh, and then I'm just going to like, you know, attack the guy and try to like take him down. Okay. All right. So do I go ahead and take the defense, uh, the penalty off? Uh, I'm yes. like, I'm screaming like hell. Um, yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Um, that's mm. the problem. So that means, uh, well, dogfight was already out of the fight anyway for this turn. But, uh, yeah, that bonus of two, you no longer have that. Um, let's see. Let me take a look at your sheet here. I forgot why you had what you had. Uh, so Captain Gonzalez. Are you going to open today? Okay, so yeah, it looks like your mods are, are in good shape. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, you've got your dexterity and your strength squared away. Yeah, so just uh, go ahead and, and roll your whatever it is you're trying to hit with. Mm, uh, unarmed, because I'm, I'm currently unarmed. Yeah, yeah, I don't know uh, if I can hit him hard enough. You don't want to try and hit him with a miracle or anything? Uh, I don't oh, have a miracle. Okay. Like, I don't have any miracles that do damage. No offensive miracles, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, then go ahead. Do mm. what you're gonna do. All right. Do the Yankee Doodle Dandy. All right. Uh, now you can you can roll a d20, you know, or and a d6 for damage, if you would prefer that. Ooh, ooh! On the other hand, maybe ooh. I can hit him hard enough to do some damage. There you go. <laughs> okay, I have, I have had enough what? of you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a result of sixteen uh, versus uh, his. Let's see, you're hitting him unarmed. Mm -hmm. Okay, but he's holding a melee weapon. He would have to block you unarmed in order to... Okay, so let's see. You get plus one bonus die. 
Okay. That's a really nice hit, by the way. Yes, it was. Never well, I, there. I told him to stop playing around and to get get catch up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Submit. Come on, submit. There we go. Oh, oh. man. Got any cards in your pool? No, I gave her. I gave um. Uh, I gave uh, da, 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 da. peaches. Peaches, the, the the only card I had. Okay, well, he takes a whole. He doesn't take any shock. He doesn't take guys, any shock. Right, these guys don't take shock. What? That's right. That's right. What if it's supernatural damage? Man, but dead means we might have finished this fight tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. We might not have had to make this fight if you'd been down here. <laughs> I know. Okay, so let's see. Is that everybody? Uh, everybody down there. Yeah, okay. that's all of us on the bottom. Okay, Chris hasn't gone yet on the bottom. Um, so go ahead, Chris. What do you want to do? I'm going to take this spear that I threw out, you know, Pirate 4, and I'm going to bring it back to inherit him again with it. With my telekinesis. Oh, uh, okay. The, wait a minute. Can you even spot the spear? I mean, you, we. It's on of... solid ground. You've got all kinds of silt and sand and stuff like that for it to go underneath. I mean, how much could it go underneath in you know a couple seconds? Uh, uh it, if it's. Yeah, I would have through. saw it when it was going down, and I. Didn't ever say I actually let go of it with my telekinesis. But telekinesis isn't a concentration thing, is it? Uh, oh. Casting one action. It is concentration. Okay. All right. So you still got it. So but don't forget. I'm going... to, so to actually hit him this time, though. Using your telekinesis, you're, uh, you've already got it under concentration. You're already a plus two to the powers, effective strength, everything like that. So now you need to go against his dex or his, uh, okay. his defense. So a Dodger dex. Uh, let's see. Which pirate is that? Four? So that's going to be, I believe, his dodge is a 12. Well, I can just, you know, go for place Dodger decks onto this okay. for, you know, temporarily. Select my token. And Select and, telekinesis. Well. Uh, minus four modifier, right? Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's still a ranged modifier, so go ahead. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Just gonna spend a possibility because I want to use my telekinesis more. Okay. 19. Oh, there you go. See, that's pretty sweet right there. So uh, that's seven. Um, let's see. Okay, my math never works right on this. Okay. So let's see, seven, that's a good result. Okay, so plus one, uh, plus one bonus die. Okay. So, so the damage is actually going to be your mind plus two. So a base of 12, which is what the, I believe the, the torpedo, or not torpedo, the... Uh, Spear gun. No, the spear gun has a damage of 14. And you had a bonus of 2. How to do this? Uh, I was just going to select the... Uh, the damage it has? You know, damage it was going to normally do yeah. with the spear gun and then add the bonus dice. Yeah, do that. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. I think I did a pretty good job. Okay. Yes, you did. You did a fantastic, outstanding job. Uh, so let's see. I cannot put this guy up to 
any more wounds or shock. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. Okay, now this guy is going to get crossed off. Okay, for dogfight, you make it to the top and you shoot out of the water and land uh, on the center of the wings, where that uh, pretty close to where that maintenance hatch is. But that's all you can do for right now. Of uh, course, in okay. hero landing style. Of course. Of course. <laughs> you you got to look like a rocketeer when you land. I mean, um, but yeah, you rocketeer can rocketeer my ass. I look like Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then Thuban, um, yeah. with your penalties, you can attempt to attack that shark again. Let's go with that. I'm going to try and uh, finish burning it to death this time. Well, we're hoping not, but the, the, okay, that's a good hit. Let me get the shark open. Come on. Come on. That's a good boy. Okay, so it's uh, yeah, you get one bonus die with that. All right, let's roll that. D6. Um, unless you want, hang on, unless you want to try and enhance uh the result. Uh, I'm good with one bonus die. I think. Okay. Exact same resu result as before. Okay, so that's, uh, uh, yeah, that's a total of what? Oh, my goodness, yeah. He's got one heck of a toughness. Okay, so, but yeah, you're, oh, I went the wrong way on that. Damn it. Son of a, frussin, sassin, frassin. Okay, <laughs> so, one, two, that gives him a total of four shock thus far. He's got a toughness of 15, including his thick skin. Wait, so, shouldn't fire hit the lowest armor class? Sorry, lowest toughness? Uh, no, not as far as I know. Um, Some fire effects in this game. I guess not this one. Well, hang on. Hang on. You brought it up. Let's, let's examine it. So let's see. Rules. I know it's going to be back in environmental stuff, if there's a fire at all. Vehicles. Dramatic skill. Okay, I'm going the wrong direction. I need to go the other direction. Environmental hazards. Here we go. Falling. Fire. Since target a cinematic game, the GM should assume most highly incendiary substances catch fire when hit with open flame. Other substances don't. I'm giving you the opportunity here, so probably not. Damage from fire effects. The target's lowest armored area. Well, it's armored all over. Okay, that's, that, that's the thing. Okay. Yeah, it, it's got thick skin, which gives it two ad, gives it two ads all over the place. Uh, characters moving through a fire burning building. Okay, we're not doing that. So, all right, but we examined it. So, um, so here's a question. Uh, okay, it's the end of the round, so I can get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw a new card, but I think we're going to call it for the night here in a moment. If, if, if you guys want to say anything about uh, about saying goodnight or anything like that, now is the goodnight, time. Goodnight, everyone. This is a fun campaign that's only made unfun because of this platform. Amen. <laughs> Absolutely. We're having a blast, and um, we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye, everyone.